All right, now I'm on the top of page 449. Let's go over some more examples. All right, use a net to find the surface area of the square pyramid. So again, they said surface area, so we're finding it all. It's a square pyramid, so I know the base is a square, and then it's going to have triangles. Excuse me. Triangles coming off of each side of the square. Okay, to, that's the net for this figure. Okay, uh, each side of the square is five centimeters. I know that because it, give it gives me that information right here. And then the height of these triangles is eight centimeters. And that was given to me right here. They're showing the height of the triangle. Okay, so base the base of this uh, triangular pyramid, or excuse me, square pyramid, is a square, obviously. So to find the area, we do five. It's a five by five, or five squared. Five times five is 25. So that's the base. The area of the base is 25. And then for each face, each triangle, it's one half base times height. The base is 5, the height is 8, and I know half of 8 is 4, so 4 times 5 is 20. So the surface area of the whole thing is going to be 25, the area of the square, and then 4 triangles that are each 20. So 4 times 20. So 25 and then 4 times 20 is 80. So our uh, surface area is 105 centimeters squared total. Each one of these triangles is 20. And the area of the square base is 25. Okay, next up, a triangular pyramid. So it's a triangular base and then it's got triangles coming off of it. Has a base with an area of 43. So the area of the base is 43. And lateral faces with base of 10. So this is 10. And height of 8.6. So the height is 8.6. What is the surface area? Well, we already know the area of the base, 43. And let's find the area of each one of the lateral faces or each one of the triangles coming off the sides of the pyramid. So our formula is one half times base times height. Now I like multiplying by 10, so I'm actually going to do one half times 8.6 first. And I can use mental math because both the 8 and the 6 can be broken perfectly in half. Half of 8 is 4. Half of 6 is 3. So I use the 1 half to multiply by the 8.6. So now I'm left with just 10 times 4.3. And since I'm multiplying by 10, I know I can just move the decimal over 1. And that will give me my answer. So if I move the decimal over 1, I get 43. So again, all of these are going to be the same, 43, 43, 43, all the way around. So since there's four 43s, I could write 43 four times, or I can just multiply by 4 to get my total surface area. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So 172, and it's centimeters squared. All right, I'm going to erase some of my work. You never need to erase your work. You can use as much scratch paper as you need. Don't be wasteful, though. Okay, number three, a square pyramid. Okay, so I start with a square. And notice, again, I'm not doing any math yet. I'm just writing what I do know. And since it's a pyramid, it's going to have triangles coming off of each side of this square. Has a base 
with a side length of three. And so I know these all are three, so the square is a three by three, which is an area of nine, in case I need that. And lateral faces, lateral faces just means the sides, right? Not the ceiling, not the floor, just the walls around you. That's the lateral faces, the walls around you, with heights of two feet. So the height is two and the base is three. What is the lateral area of the pyramid? So I'm not including the base. I'm only counting the, because uh, this would be the floor of the pyramid, I'm only counting the walls, the sides of the pyramid. Okay, so I have to use the formula for a triangle. Area equals one half times base, which is three, times height, which is two. Now again, I know half of two, so I'm actually gonna multiply those two first. Uh, one ha half of two would be one, so I've used the one half, I multiplied it by the two, and I got one, and now I still have times the three, which is three. So the area of each one of these triangles is three, and I can either count them, three plus three plus three plus three, but since I have four of them, I can also multiply by four, and that gives me 12. So the area of the lateral, the lateral area, so just the walls, is 12 feet squared. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.